talking about it. So, my favorite series, that's kind of hard to answer. Um, Tokyo Ghoul is, I have, I think that's the only one I have all of the manga for. Like the whole collection. I really like Kaneki. Kaneki reminds me of myself through and through. So I think that's the biggest reason why I'm so gung-ho about the series. Um, no spoilers, but if you've um, finished the series, you kind of know the vibe that Re has, and it didn't ruin it for me, but it just didn't have that same vibe that part one had. It also uh, felt very rushed, and I don't like that. I, I'd rather it be slow, honestly, when, I'm com when it comes to reading manga. I love those are really fast, and so not a lot of complaints, but there's a few where it's like, you know, I don't know if it's my favorite series. If you've watched a lot of anime, I think you understand. It's just one of those things. It's kind of hard to pick one um, without maybe using like recency bias or uh, nostalgia, you know. It's hard, but whatever. Um, I think that if I had to pick one, I guess it'd be Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> um, besides that, I'm very much into um, spiritual things or the supernatural, uh, alien stuff like that. Um, I think you could pick up that vibe from some of my previous videos. But uh, I love crystals. I love um, tarot. I love. I love that realm of, um, of things. I think it's really cool and it's interesting and genuinely I believe in it. All right, I'm very much an introvert. I think I've talked about this in a previous video. So it's kind of hard to maneuver when I wasn't raised Understanding that I guess that I was an introvert. It's just um, I didn't really understand why I was the way I was. So I just kind of went the route of not in, not liking who I was and wanting to be somebody else, somebody different in a sense. You know, become this person I had idealized in my head that everybody would like. And I tried it. Short story, long story short. In high school, I had um, switched up my entire personality from very sh uh, shy, introverted, to extremely out, um, extroverted and outgoing and telling jokes and the class clown. And when I say that was exhausting, there's some people who say fake it till you make it. And I understand that in some scenarios, but I think for the most part, the best route is embracing who you are and understanding how to maneuver life, knowing how you are and how you like to do things. Regardless, it was so exhausting, um, faking it. And I had started at the beginning of the year, junior year, because I wanted to start off on a good note. And just my life had been very lonely. And I, I didn't want it to be that way anymore. So I decided you know, I was gonna do this, you know, I was gonna fake it and I was gonna um, I was gonna slowly become through faking it this person that I, I would love. And I remember about halfway through the year I had made all of these friends. I had made people loved me. It was it was wild. It basically to me re reaffirmed the fact that the other way, you know, how I normally was wasn't good enough, and this new, you know, Andre was, you know, where I was at, but then one day, I just couldn't do it anymore, maybe it was a bad day, maybe something happened, I don't really remember, but I remember one day, I reverted back to my true self, and I couldn't put up the act that day, and then I couldn't put 
got back the next day and then the next day and it took a good couple of days to a week to then see all of those people slowly leave my life slowly stop talking to me slowly stop you know wanting to be around me and wow that was a blow which in my high school mind reassured reaffirmed the fact yet again that the way i was who i really am wasn't good enough and here i am just i just lost everybody you know being that way i wish i could go back and tell myself that that's not the case it would have saved me a lot of heartache and <laughs> mental anguish but things happen for a reason and it was a big growth moment for me for sure so yeah i'm honestly just now fully coming into embracing everything about myself loving every bit of my introvertedness and uh, coming to understand myself so that I can strengthen my friendships. I can, um, when I decide I want to try again with a relationship, I can, I can expect somebody else to be supporting in that kind of way when I don't even know myself, you know what I mean? Sorry about the loud noises in the back. that to say um, really though really love yourself don't let the way society is built around extroverts this is not a knock at you extroverts I really like y'all really I mean to the point where I was trying to be an extrovert so don't take it as a negative um, what I'm trying to say here but really though this world is centered around y'all Everybody thinks that extroverts are smarter, extroverts are more attractive, more charming, more successful. Some of these things may be true, but the point being is society has built everything around extroverted being on top and introverted being, sorry, um, below that. So a lot of us introverted uh, people have hadn't had a lot of help honestly we're told to yo why are you so shy why are you not talking why are you you know in a very you shouldn't be like this type of way with no understanding so a lot of us have grown up some unfortunately not understanding how they are some suppressing that you know there's a lot of different issues i urge you to just love yourself be yourself who are you? Why are you not being yourself? For who? For what? Any reason you could give me would not be good enough. I'm telling you that now. I can guarantee you that. Be yourself. Love yourself. If people don't vibe for you, but with you, for who you are, you don't need them in your life. I don't care if they've been friends with you for 10 years, 15 years. If they don't vibe for you, with you for who you are don't keep them around they're not serving you they're not a positive force on you so you know and it's not so bad being alone you know I know a lot of people don't want to be alone and they don't want to let that last person go who may potentially not be you know a good person and they know it but they keep them around because they don't want to be alone. But there's so much happiness and joy and love and fun when you're alone. Finding yourself and loving who you are and enjoying being alone. Such a good feeling. Again, it's all about self-love. Like I, I love being by myself. I crack myself up, quite honestly. I may not be funny to some people, but to myself, I think I'm pretty funny. 
and I think that counts for something, you know? I think I'm really chill, I think I'm really cool, I think I'm nice, I think I'm generous, you know? I love these things about myself, and these are things and reasons why I like to be alone with myself, and I can be proud of myself, and happy with myself. This turned into something else, but that's okay, because... You know, I, it just came out, so maybe somebody out there needed to hear that. That it's okay to be you. It's okay to be yourself. And you should be yourself. Regardless of the circumstances and situation. So. I'm not really sure where the video is at right now, time-wise. Because I gotta be careful. Because again, I can't upload a, certain, a link to, uh, on YouTube. But. I love music. That's something that I'd love to do in the future. Uh, singing and songwriting. You know, I play guitar. And I'd love to dabble in that, you know, um, software like that. Like a, um, I can't, gosh, I can't think of it right now. It's blanking my mind. But, you know, like, like producing. Like producing my own music and stuff like that. Being an independent artist. And yes, I know that's so hard to do. I don't really care. Um, I believe in myself, um, and regardless, I'm going to have fun, and regardless, I'm going to enjoy the process. I'm just living life, and I'm doing what I want to do, and I'm working hard at what I want to, you know, what I enjoy, so I don't worry about things like that. Um, they don't mean anything to me. Um, of course, there's a difference between being realistic and, um, you know, but I don't have expectations, to be quite honest, so I'm just doing my thing, like I said. Um, yeah, so music, I really enjoy that. Working out, um, I mean, I mean, y'all see me, so like, clearly you can tell I at least work out a little bit, but I'm in the gym almost every day, so I really enjoy that. It's a good, um, it keeps my head calm, like, um, helps me focus, it, you know, levels me out, it'll boost my mood, it does a lot for me, honestly, so I'm always at the gym, and as far as hobbies goes, that's kind of really it, I like to rock climb, I like to go on walks, I like to um, eat in my car, and read books in my car, um, those are very relaxing times for me, again, if you're an introvert, you kind of get these, like, it's nothing crazy, it's alone time um, to balance out the times when I'm hanging out with my friends or I'm watching anime with my roommate or I have been at work for a long time, you know. Uh, I need those things to help me um, recharge myself and get back to tip-top shape. Oh, and I love food a lot. I down when it comes to food, so that's something, that's my vice, I definitely have to be careful, and I already have an addictive personality, so, um, there's a box, I keep looking over there, because there's a box of cookies right there, but, um, I'm learning self-control as far as food goes, um, so that's another thing I'm working on, the process never ends, it's funny, you know, always gonna be new things you gotta work on, and, but it's, no, it's kind of fun, it's like a, it's like anime character development, you know, I'm better, I'm bigger and better uh, than the day before, every day, and again, I think that counts for something. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it there, you know, we got a little positivity in there, you've got to learn a little bit more about me, I guess, um, and I'm gonna try to upload it before 12, so I hope that y'all have a great night, thank you so much for hundred subscribers like some of y'all are saying it's only up from here we're just gonna keep doing our thing over here we're gonna keep all of this positive energy um, on this channel because that's what it's about it's about a safe place with positive energy and you know helping each other become the best versions of ourselves that we can be and be become successful whoa become successful and do what we want to do in life. So, with that, we're going to end the video. Thank you so much. Y'all take it easy.